Welcome to the 50th anniversary FAC conference in Fort Lauderdale. We hope you have a great time. My name is Mark Gale, Chief Executive Officer and Director of Aviation for Broward County's Aviation Department, overseeing the Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport, as well as our North Perry Airport. Along with my friend, colleague, and co-host, Rufus James from the Florida Executive Airport, I want to welcome you to the Florida Airports Council 50th Anniversary Conference and Exposition, the Golden Anniversary. Wow, 50 years. Just think about that. Some of our members that are coming to the conference weren't even alive when our aviation professionals started coming, getting together, networking, and talking about their issues. This is a really, really special event, and we here in Fort Lauderdale are so excited to host it right here at the Marriott Harbor Beach. You know, when you think about all the professionals that have come together and they've been working for advocacy on aviation issues, the professionals that they are, learning, teaching, sharing, you're going to see that and more at this year's conference. Whether it's operations, security, planning, environmental, legislative issues, federal affairs, environmental affairs, something for everybody in these sessions. Great speakers are also going to be here to share their wisdom and knowledge. And yes, maybe we'll commiserate about a problem or two. While you're here in sunny Fort Lauderdale, we want you to have a great time as well. Lots to do, golf, scuba diving, fishing, and more. Sip and paint, lots of great activities you're gonna be able to enjoy while you're here. We'll pray for good weather, but whether it's rain or shine, we're happy that you're here in Fort Lauderdale for the Florida Airports Council 50th Anniversary Conference and Exposition. Let's have some fun. 50, who's 50? Florida Airport Managers Association to Florida Airport Council. Family to FAC in 50 years. Wow, and here we are, back to where it all started, or close enough. My name is Nina McPherson. I'm the airport manager for North Perry Airport in Broward County. I've been a part of the FAMAFAC family since the early 90s, and it is a FAC family. This organization is like no other. When you're new coming into FAC, someone's gonna greet you with their hand out and welcome you. And if you're a little seasoned and you've been here for a while, we're going to embrace you with both arms. This year I have the distinct privilege and honor to be Madam Chair of the Board of Directors for the Florida Airport Council. And it has been exciting and interesting and challenging, and I just loved every minute of it. So thank you all. This year's annual conference is going to be at the beautiful Marriott Harbor Beach, and I can't wait to see you, and hopefully you'll embrace me with both arms. 50? Who's 50? Hey, Rufus. Welcome to the Florida Airports Council 50th Anniversary Conference and Exposition. And welcome to the city of Fort Lauderdale. My name is Rufus James, airport manager at the Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport. But I know most of you will remember me as Flat Rufus from last year's annual event. Well, I couldn't think of a more appropriate location other than the Gold Coast of Florida to have the 50th anniversary and to also bring Flat Rufus to life. While here in the city of Fort Lauderdale, you'll enjoy seven miles of beaches, 165 miles of waterways, hundreds of restaurants and bars, and if I might say, two of the best airports in the state with the Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport and the Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport. Mark and I promise to make this the most memorable event that you've attended in all of FACS history. And with that, we hope that you'll enjoy yourself, you'll make the most of your time here, and want to come back again. So when you make your travel plans again in the future, make sure you come back to South Florida to enjoy what the city of Fort Lauderdale has to offer. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jamari Bar, president of the Dillon University student chapter. Uh, I'm a fortunate student to receive the FAC scholarship three consecutive years. 
Uh, my fun memory here at FAC is actually networking opportunity, learning more about aviation, developing knowledge, and most importantly, I was a fortunate student to win FAC's challenge of developing a solar, an innovative idea to implement solar technology in airports. Thank you. FAC is so important to me because I think it's great that our airport sponsors and the consultants and the regulatory agencies were all in this together and we work as a team to make this the greatest state in aviation. Uh, nobody beats Florida and nobody beats the relationships that we have here in Florida. So I'm so happy that FAC is celebrating their 50th anniversary and congratulations. Alrighty, well I've been coming here to FAC, attending the annual, uh, annual trade show here since 1989. And this is one venue where I can see all my tenant partners, my landlords, and also conduct some super business with a lot of the consultants here. And it's a great place to renew uh, existing relationships but gain new ones. All right. My name's Thaddeus. What? Oh, over there. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, I'm Thaddeus Glenn with Clear Channel Airports, and we love the FAC. All right, hi, I'm uh, Gary Duncan. Uh, I've been a member of FAC uh, all the way back to the days when it was FAMA. Back in uh, probably my first uh, annual conference I went to was in, uh, I think it was in the mid 90s. I was an ops agent in Jacksonville, and my uh, manager, Charlie Hardrick, asked me if I wanted to go. And I said, sure, it was down in Miami. And uh, I went there and I absolutely had a great time. I loved it. And I've been coming back every year. And uh, so this year I'm the uh, Florida Airport Council Chairman. And uh, I look forward to uh, coming to the events after I'm a board member so I can enjoy it at a different level. But uh, I, I encourage everybody that's interested in becoming a member of the Florida Airport Council to do it. It's a, it's a great organization and it, and it certainly helped me out in my career. Hi, my name is Miraben Anderson and I have been a member of the Florida Airports Council for the last 18 years. So in 2004, I attended my first Florida airports conference and fell in love with airports. They're a really great organization. They help uh, airports, new member airports, airport folks, consultants. It's one of the best, if not the best organization that has all of the airports work together towards the common good for the state. It is the only one I know of that is this active. So if you are like a new airport director, your other airport managers and directors will help you, guide you. Uh, we have a scholarship fund, an education fund as well. So for the last 10 years, I've been donating jewelry as part of the auction as well. And this is part of the dedication and commitment as a member um, of Florida Airports Council. I am one of many that support this organization. It is a really great organization to be a part of and to become a member of. And so, FAC, happy 50th anniversary. I'm so uh, honored to be part of FAC. This being my first year attending FAC, as an intern, I was able to make a lot of new connections for my future and the networking possibilities here was amazing and I can't wait to attend next year's. Hi, my fond memories of FAC have been the Education Foundation and the live auctions. I enjoy giving a little entertainment to the crew and raising money for a good cause. This is my first year at FAC conference and my name is Madhur Gupta and I'm studying my pursuing my masters in aeronautics in Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. Being a graduate student, this over here I'm here because of my opportunity as an intern at Tampa International Airport. 
this opportunity came through FAC, which was FAC grant internship scholarship opportunity. And I'm privileged that this opportunity came to me and I'm really honored to be part of this organization. Hi, I'm Rick Lucas with McFarland Johnson, Senior Airport Planner and Project Manager, a former FAC scholarship recipient of two years when I went to Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, getting my business aviation degree and pilot's license. Uh, FAC, the scholarship helped propel my career. We're now 15 years later of airport planning, consulting, development, and just the network of folks from FAC, from the industry, and now uh, locating in the Miami office. Uh, for McFarland Johnson, it's, it's a great opportunity and it's a, such a great network of folks. Um, aviation is a very special industry to me in general uh, and I think FAC really takes it to the next level just personally, professionally and everything they provide to their members. Florida Airports Council has helped me tremendously with getting two scholarships while in college It helped me through school as well as introducing me to my current employer. I would not be where I am today without Florida Airports Council. Good afternoon, my name is Carlton Harrison, Assistant Airport Manager for the Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport. The Florida Airports Council has done a masterful job at providing training opportunities to its membership. I couldn't imagine where I would be at in my career without some of the training uh, events that I participated in uh, on behalf of the Florida Airports Council. Um, from everything from pavement management to airport leadership training, it has been wonderful to have such a great organization within this state to support uh, not only myself, but many of my colleagues and teammates. Thank you. Hi, I'm Anna Satorio. I'm a past president of this organization, which makes me very proud. And uh, the year that I was president was a very momentous one. Uh, we had finished a strategic plan. We were about to rebrand ourselves as the Florida Airports Council. Um, and then September came around and 9-11 happened and the world changed. Um, Governor Bush convened the major infrastructure providers in the state and uh, I was the representative for airports, as, you know, as being president of the Florida Airports Council that year. Um, and I had a very unique experience of being the only passenger on an airplane from Miami to Tallahassee. It was me and the crew. Ever since then, it's been an absolute love affair with this uh, association. Um, I think that if you know you haven't uh, been an active participant, you definitely want to be. It will enrich you, um, and in turn, you will enrich us. So I encourage you to stay active. So, as a young professional, this is my first FAC annual conference, so it's really great to be around a bunch of like-minded people in order to get a whole lot out of this conference, not only on the private side of the consulting industry, but also the ability to network with so many public use airports. So, as a young professional, I would definitely recommend this for anybody looking for the first aviation conference or looking to gain a whole lot of experience about the industry in Florida. Hello, my name is Enrique Melendez. I'm with Bird Incorporated. I've been in aviation for many years, most of my career, and I really enjoy attending the Florida Annual Conference because it's an opportunity to get to know and network with key industry players in the Florida region. And even though, like this year, for example, I represent a new company, Birdie, in my past employers, I've attended a FAC conference, which has been very helpful. And for me, it expands my opportunity to do business development and find out early on opportunities in the airport industry in Florida specific to the capabilities that I offer in my company. Hi, I'm Izzy Bonilla from the Mobile Airport Authority and this is like my 15th to 20th year. I apologize, I can't remember. But anyway, it's been a long time. I'm coming to FAC. I love FAC. Um, it's a great opportunity. I've been working in many other states and FAC is probably the only conference and the only organization uh, uh, like this in the United States. So I enrolled San Juan Puerto Rico in FAC and now we have Mobile Airport Authority in FAC. Uh, I have very good friends in FAC and all my uh, comrades and my colleagues are all attending here. So I love FAC. I love being with my friends and family. Thank you so much and go fat.
Okay, so FAC, my goodness me, if you are in the airport industry, you have got to attend FAC. Not only do you get a wealth of knowledge and skills, you get to network with other uh, industry partners, you get to network with colleagues, um, and most importantly, you build relationships. This industry is all about building relationships. How can you solve problems before you connect? Connect before you solve, that's what you get at FAC. Over the years, uh, FAMA became FAC. Uh, when I came in down in Florida, the World War II generation was going out and the baby boomers were coming in. Now another generational shift, I'm a baby boomer, been retired two years, but I'm grateful to Florida Airport Council, formerly FAC, uh, the ability to uh, draw on the resource of other members uh, has been great. Every one of us has faced unique situations in our airports. It's always nice to find someone had similar experience and kind of put together options in dealing with situations. Thank you very much. He just went thumbs up, so I guess that means we're good to go. Do I have to say that the reality is that the FAC conference, formerly the FAMA conference, is a way of life for aviators in Florida, especially for the aviation consultants. It gives both the airport consultants and the airport operators a chance to have meaningful social dialogue when you're not actually under the RFP process. So free consulting for all the aviators, all the aviation authorities. But the most important thing we've had from Avcon's perspective has been our 25 years of sponsoring the fishing tournaments. From catching lots of fish, big boats, little boats, to catching no fish. But a great day on the cool, cool water is still a great way to have a conference. Much better than sweating it out on the golf course, old days sweating it out on the tennis court. So clearly, if you have a chance, you want to go fishing. But from all of us at Avcon, congratulations and happy anniversary on your 50th golden anniversary of FAC. Cheers. I've been coming to FAC since FAC was FAMA back so many years ago. I don't even remember the number, but I do remember that there were pool parties, and I don't mean the wet kind, there were cigarette parties, there were cigar parties. Parties have always been a large part of FAC and FAMA, but it's grown bigger and that's in large part due to the education that you give to your participants. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I haven't been every year, but I know most of the people that are coming year after year after year. Thank okay. you. Hey FAC, happy birthday. I heard you're 50 years old. I remember when you were young, when you were 25 years old, we met, but you were going under a different name, FAMA. But uh, I love the 25 years that I've spent with you. I wish you 50 more, and I couldn't go without reaching a shout out to uh, my friend Anna Satorio, who gave me the opportunity to come on board and be a member of FAMA at the time. Uh, my family grew up with FAMA. My kids, everybody loved it. It's part of our life. Good luck, FAC. Thank you both. Hi, my name is Alberto Roca, and I am with ITW GSE. Congratulations once again to the Florida Airport Council for another wonderful and successful event. Us, manufacturers of ground support equipment for the aviation industry, are very proud to be a part of this conference, not only because we also reside in the state of Florida, because, but also because we see the benefits of having such great conferences for all our industry colleagues. Once again, congratulations, and we look forward to seeing you next year in Fort Lauderdale. Thank you. FAC means everything. I've been involved with FAC since it was FAMA, and it gave me an opportunity to meet all kinds of people, to learn about Florida aviation, and to have great friendships over the years.
Uh, my name is George Speak, and uh, Florida Airports Council has been a big part of my career here in Florida. I was fortunate enough to receive uh, two scholarships from Florida Airports Council when I was in college. And then since I've been employed here, I've been enjoying all the conferences uh, since 2007, I guess. And um, I enjoy coming to them every year. Hey, uh, what's FAC meant to me? I've been enjoying coming here to FAC conferences since 2006. And the best thing about FAC has been the networking availability, the ability to uh, work with other consultants, other airports, and try and learn more about what's going on with aviation here in the state of Florida. It's been a great time and look forward to the next 50 years. Okay. Hi, I'm Maria Hitt. I'm the airport manager for 42 Juliet, Keystone Heights Airport. Um, this is my second Florida Airports Council conference and they're wonderful. Um, they benefit all from international airports to a small general aviation airport. And I'm very excited to be here. And I'm Chris Searcy. I'm a Master Chief in the military in the general area and we use her airport for refueling and for training and I'm just happy to be here with her. I'm John Thompson and I'm with Keith Engineering and I've been coming to FAC for over 10 years now. And it's such an amazing conference. You know, I've been to many conferences in the industry, and I gotta say that the, the FAC, the annual conference here, is, is easily one of the two best. And uh, you get to see a lot of the industry experts, you get to speak with people who are airport owners, operators, the, the FBOs. Uh, it really is a, a great experience, and it's all here in, in sunny Florida. Where else would you wanna be? Uh, Highly recommend it. Uh, here's to another 50 wonderful years of Florida Airports Council. So here's what fact means to me. I can remember being at uh, my first uh, Bama convention back in the early 90s uh, in Fort Lauderdale and what I remember is I remember the people who are coming in as they're, they're, they're coming into the uh, conference on day one and everybody hugging each other and shaking hands and, and saying, oh my gosh, it's so good to see you. So one of the coolest things about this organization is its members and uh, how close people get, uh, lifelong friendships are made. Um, so it's, re it's just really cool that, that FAC has become such a family, and that's really what it is. Uh, it's a family and it values all of its members. Uh, in addition to that, the services that FAC provides to our industry within the state uh, is just, in, you know, it's just unbelievable uh, the amount of effort that goes into making our industry better. And that's really what they're here to do, is make our industry better. Uh, and build up our young emerging leaders uh, as part of the, of, of the FAC family and replenishing the talent that we, that we have in our, uh, uh, in our industry. So I uh, just can't say enough about uh, the, the family aspect of the Florida Airports Council and, and how fun it is to come to each and every event that they put on. So to that, FAC, thank you. Hi, I'm Joe Lapano. I'm the CEO of Tampa International Airport, and uh, we're really happy to host the event this year. I think it's important, the Florida Airports Council, for all of us to get together and talk about our mutual opportunities, and uh, really look forward to next year's uh, event down in Fort Lauderdale. So FAC has been a great thing, FAC or FAMA throughout my career, which started, you know, I started being involved in the, uh, the late 80s, and it's been a life-changing event for me. We've always, you can relate, it's all based on relationships and people that you've met. Um, young, old, makes no difference. It's all about the networking and the ability to work together for a common goal, and that's the growth of aviation in Florida. Tourism is a big business for us, and airports help make that happen.
FAC has been an amazing experience, especially this year in Tampa. It's been done, uh, the training committee has been amazing. And also, I look forward to 2019 for the 50th in Fort Lauderdale. Okay, well, I've been involved with FAC for the last 10, 15 years. And I think the biggest value that I've gotten out of it is that the collaboration within the committees and the conferences between the corporations, the airports, and the vendors, we share a lot of common ideas and share a lot of knowledge. So that's been very helpful. And I've been involved in the FAC Corporate Committee for the last few years. And I've really enjoyed it and been able to feel like I've contributed to help bring FAC along. So uh, I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. Hi, I'm Selena Saucedo, a member of the Broward County Aviation Department. The Florida Airports Council has been a wonderful experience for me. I am the chair of the Federal Affairs Committee. We work really hard to advocate for Florida airports. I have made great friends through the FAC. Next year, we're hosting the conference in Fort Lauderdale. I hope you come and spend your summer in 2019 with us in Fort Lauderdale. Good afternoon, uh, Ted Pluto with WD Shock and 50 years of FAC. I've been around for about 30 of them and it's been an absolutely great, um, great conferences over the year and a truly uh, effort on everyone's part to make sure that the aviation industry in Florida uh, is number one in the nation and strong. I've had the opportunity to travel throughout the U.S. and um, always, always extolling the virtues of FAC and it's been wonderful for my career and I know for a lot of people's careers. So again, thanks to FAC and thanks to all the great work that everybody that's part of FAC does. It's been a, it's been a great ride and I look forward to being along for at least a few more. So thanks. So I've been a member of the Florida Airports Council for about seven years. Uh, been my, my first uh, uh, annual conference was in Boca. It was a great conference and uh, really got involved uh, in, the, in the council right about that time. Uh, I, I've been working and very active in the Federal Affairs Committee and was the chair of that. I'm on the, on the board of the Florida Airports Council. Uh, it's a great organization to be a part of. We do a lot of advocacy work uh, in, in Washington and, and the state, uh, really helping airports uh, develop uh, with, with uh, funding opportunities and so forth. So it's a great council to be, uh, to be working with and I suggest that everyone, if you're not a member, become a member uh, and enjoy the 50th. I've been part of Famine and FAC for a long, long time and what it means to me is the importance of relationships and networking opportunities that uh, the conference provides for us. It's an opportunity to get with great friends, great people, and the leadership of the aviation and airport industry. So it's a great learning opportunity and, and always a great time. Okay. I'm really enjoying the FAC conference this year. This is the second time I've attended this conference. And what I notice is it's very family oriented. Wives and children come here. So it has a different feeling than a typical conference. At the same time, the presenters are excellent and I'm really learning about what is going on with aviation uh, from a national and an international perspective. I, I appreciate this conference. Thank you all. Well, happy birthday effectively to 50 years of service to the FAC. Uh, it's been absolutely brilliant for us. Uh, it's our second year at uh, the conference. Uh, we provide AeroCloud systems to small airports um, and uh, effectively we're just very, very happy to be here and part of this fantastic group. I've been involved with FAC since about 2007, primarily with the Facilities Committee. Uh, I've served uh, as um, the chairman of the Mark Winkleman Award for several years and currently am chairman of the Facilities Committee. And uh, it's been a great honor to serve the Florida Airports Council and uh, I wish them another 50 years. Hi, I'm Travis Lamrice, Airport Operations, Tampa International Airport. This event is so important because it allows us to come together, share information, and making the aviation community a better place. Hi, uh, I'm Derek Faulkner with the Lee County Port Authority. I'm out at Page Field. Um, 
The uh, Florida Airports Council has had a, a huge impact on, on my life and my career. Uh, I actually was an FAC intern and uh, a scholarship recipient through FAC, so um, the, the organization has, like I said, had a huge impact on my life and uh, I just want to pay it forward by being involved with the Education Committee. Fun fact, I've learned a lot throughout the years. I've been through all the meetings for the past four and a half years and I've just learned a lot, got a lot of experience throughout in networking. I've also been able to uh, gain interest from the scholarships and also the internships. I've actually been qualified for the internships and I've learned a lot from it all. Okay, I can honestly say that I've been coming to this since uh, Fort Lauderdale, I think it was 2011 and uh, the best group I've ever worked with as, as an organization. I've been part of other organizations that everybody was fighting with each other. FAC, the airports, the uh, consultants, they all work together and uh, work towards a better project. It's been a pleasure uh, being here at the FAC conference. Um, our business, Rockwell Collins, has tried to align ourselves closely with the airports in Florida, and so this has been a great opportunity for us to introduce ourselves, our products and services, and to become closely more engaged into, with the airports here in Florida. So it's been a great opportunity, and we'll continue to come back. Well, I've been going to FAMA. I've been, well, first of all, happy 50th anniversary of FAC, formerly FAMA. I started in 19... 93 going to my first event so and since then it's been great um, all the people I'm able to meet and work with uh, on a daily basis I, I get to see them on an annual basis in person so all the uh, the informative times we've had all the fun times we've had and all the professional relationships and even friendships have been made over the years so it's been a great organization continues to be a great organization and um, you know, um, you know, best wishes for the next 50 years. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, my name is Kimberly Castro, the chair of the training committee. I'm standing here with Danielle Grenet, our chair of the subcommittee, and Christy Anderson. We are elated to be a part of FAC. I initially met Danielle at an airport leadership development class, and we've been working now together in this committee for over three years. Yes. The value that FACT has brought not only to its professional members, but the industry is immeasurable. Our training committee is dedicated to providing professional development for our members and forging alliances, creating networks. We are excited to be a part of not only our committee, but FACT as a whole, and we're grateful to be a part of the 50th anniversary. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Lisa Waters. I'm the CEO of the Florida Airports Council. I'm very proud to be a part of this organization that has had a tremendous impact, obviously, on my career and my profession. I first became a member in 1986 after graduating from FIT. And I learned through relationships and through uh, partnerships with other businesses and with our FAA and DOT how important the aviation industry is to the state of Florida. So I thank every member that's here with us at our 50th anniversary. Welcome you and please enjoy yourself.